Hey everybody, welcome to my video on absolute value. So what exactly is absolute value? And the formal definition is the distance that any number is from zero. But in my opinion, there is a much easier way to think about it, which is the absolute value is always positive. So whenever you are doing absolute value calculations, uh, that's something to think about. Just know that the absolute value is always going to be positive. So let me show you what I mean by this and let's get started with some examples. So let's say we have the absolute value of negative 3. And if you haven't figured it out, absolute value is written with the brackets around the number. So here we have the, the absolute value of negative 3. And we know that the absolute value is always going to be positive. So the absolute value of negative 3 is going to be positive 3. Let's go over a bunch of examples. Uh, let's say we have the absolute value of positive 3. Once again, we know the absolute value is always going to be positive, so the absolute value of positive 3 stays positive 3. Let's go over another example. Let's say we have the absolute value of 3 minus 5. And you can think of absolute value as parentheses. So let's simplify the inside of the parentheses first. So inside of the absolute value, we have 3 minus 5, which is equal to negative 2. So we have the absolute value of negative 2. Once again, we know the absolute value is always positive. So the absolute value of negative 2 is going to be positive 2. Let's say we have the absolute value of 5 minus 3. Once again, let's simplify the inside of the absolute value first. So on the inside, we have 5 minus 3. So we have 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So we have the absolute value of positive 2. Once again, absolute value always stays positive, so the absolute value of positive 2 stays positive 2. This is our solution. So now let's go over some examples that are a little bit harder. So let's say we have the absolute value of negative 3 minus the absolute value of negative 5. Um, so let's start all the way to the left. First we have the absolute value of negative 3. We know the absolute value has to be positive. So the absolute value of negative 3 is going to be positive 3. And now we have a negative sign that is outside the absolute value symbols. So that just stays the same. And now we have the absolute value of negative 5. Once again, the absolute value is always going to be positive. So the absolute value of negative 5 is going to be 5. So we have 3 minus 5. 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 2. This is our solution. Uh, let's say we had the absolute value of negative 3 plus the absolute value of negative 5. Once again, let's start with the negative 3. We know that the absolute value is always going to be positive, so that is going to be a positive 3. Our positive sign is outside of the absolute value, so that just stays the same. And we have the absolute value of negative 5, which is just 5. So we have 3 plus 5, which is equal to 8. So now let's go over an even harder example. Let's say we have 3 multiplied by the absolute value of 7 minus 9. And this is being subtracted by the absolute value of 3 minus 6 squared. And like I said before, absolute value brackets can be thought of as parentheses. So let's simplify the inside of the parentheses first. Here we have a 7 minus 9, which is equal to negative 2. So we have 3 times the absolute value of negative 2. Our subtraction symbol is outside of the parentheses, so that just stays the same. And here we have 3 minus 6 inside of the brackets. 3 minus 6 is equal to negative 3. So we have the absolute value of negative 3 squared. So once again, we know the absolute value is always going to be positive. So the absolute value of negative 2 is equal to positive 2. Our subtraction stays the same. And the absolute value of negative 3 we know is going to be positive 3. And we still have to put our squared on top. 
So simplifying even further, we have 3 times 2, which is equal to 6, minus 3 squared, which is 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 6 minus 9 is equal to negative 3. This is our solution. So these examples should give you a good idea on how to simplify absolute value expressions. In my next video, I want to talk about solving absolute value equations like this one, the absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to 9. I'm going to teach you how to solve this absolute value equation for x. So stay tuned for that video. I really hope that you are enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.